It's easy to take lighting for granted when it comes to designing a space. Whether it's a remodel or a fresh start, every detail counts, especially in how it will be lit. Kim Miller of Illuminate helps clients to develop multi-tiered lighting systems that will serve both as utility and aesthetic to bring out the most in the built environment. Where seeing is believing, here in the 52317. So I started with another company when I was 19. I actually was the warehouse worker. And then three days went by and they offered me the sales position. I had no experience. I didn't even know what an A19 light bulb was. So it was very interesting. And I really enjoy my customers and working with the public and the builders in town. So I've just really enjoyed continuing to do that. So that was the warehouse with KBD then? No, or? I was with another company for 22 years. So I've actually been in this for 27 years. And then I knew some people that own KBD. So I went to them and we talked about starting a lighting showroom. And what is it about lighting specifically that attracts you into it? Because there's so many different elements and areas of design to focus on. My main attraction is, of course, the customers, but Lighting has become a piece of art anymore, as well as functional. So it's kind of fun to help customers see their vision of what they want their house to look like and help them get the required amount of light with all the new stuff that comes out. It's really exciting to see people get excited about lighting instead of just a light bulb. What have been some of the newer developments in lighting? We see a lot of LED these days. That is actually a module, not a light bulb. It's uh, supposed to last for up to 20 years. Of course, it hasn't been out 20 years, so (laughs) we don't really know. But it's very energy efficient, and it's able to let us have smaller lights because it's just literally like a piece of tape with lighting diodes on it. So the light can be built much smaller because it doesn't have to accommodate a larger light bulb. So that's probably the main thing that's come in the last mm, probably 10 years or so. And aside from being more energy efficient, isn't it also the case, and I don't know if this is true across the board, but they don't typically get as hot as more conventional light bulbs. So they're a little bit more safe. Yes. And that's part of the energy efficient. Actually, I tend to look at lights wherever I go and I go into commercial spaces that haven't updated to the LED. And not only are they spending more money because of the watts in the bulb, but in the summer months, those bulbs get a lot warmer, like you said. So it can also save you on cooling in the summer. If you ever go into a store and you just really feel warm, not so much anymore, but probably in the last five years, that's because of the light bulbs, really. So Illuminate is part of a greater grouping of Iowa-based design businesses under KBD, which I believe I mentioned, which stands both for kitchen by design and kitchen and bath design. Are there differences between these locations and what is being offered? And also, is there any kind of connectivity between the teams and these different locations? So probably the biggest difference is our showroom is more lighting focused. We have two and a half, I'll call it, uh, Lighting specialist, Alicia Teepole and I have been doing this. I have 27 years. She has 10 years. And then we have a part-time gal. But if you want to know anything about lighting, the North Liberty store is the place to go. Not that the others can't help you. They can offer it, but it's kind of like, oh, that's pretty. I want that kind of situation where we'll actually work with you. Like, does this work? Does it fit? Is it the right amount of light? So that's probably the biggest difference. And we were lighting salespeople who now become cabinet designers, but we mostly specialize in lighting at our store. So that's sort of the difference is that each one of them has their specialty within that umbrella group is that you're the lighting group. We might have cabinetry over here and things for bathroom and whatnot. So of the four KBD locations, what has been a rough timeline in their order of placement? Because there's the four of them. Like, where did the first one start off? And then at what point in that timeline, the location for North Liberty came about? The Davenport one has been there the longest. It wasn't owned by the same people that own it now. So that really was there the longest. And then the KBD in... Iowa City was actually owned by Ferguson at one point. Well, it was RJ's, and then they sold out to Ferguson. And so Ferguson shut the Iowa City down. So the group that owned the Davenport one bought the Iowa City one, and then they started the Cedar Rapids one. 
And then I came along and again, we were just going to do lighting. But since we had the showroom space, we thought, well, we might as well put some cabinets and countertops in there. So that's really how the North Liberty one came about. How was it decided to be at North Liberty? So the owner said to me, go find a location. The corridor is really busy right now, as we know, and we're right off the interstate. So if you come from Cedar Rapids, you can just hop right on. You know, you don't have to go into town. Even from the east side of Iowa City, if you just grab the interstate to come around. So the location was really the reason so we could catch more Cedar Rapids business and be kind of in a neutral spot. North Liberty used to not be the neutral spot, but now with Tiffin and, you know, Cedar Rapids, Iowa City, North Liberty itself growing so much, it's really kind of become the neutral spot. While the name KBD implies a specific focus on kitchen and bathroom design, similar as Illuminate centers on lighting, there's much more that is being offered both in new construction remodeling projects. How extensive are those services that you offer and what can a client expect for their design needs? Meaning you've got what's happening in the stores themselves, people looking at these different fixtures and things that they could possibly consider for their homes or their businesses. But how much of that is sitting down, drawing up designs and helping people to realize their vision? We are start to finish. So we actually have carpenters on staff. So we can start the customer's project and finish the project. We can show every aspect of the customer's design on a computer, on a TV, with color and stuff. We have a cabinet designer that does all the 2020 stuff, which is the cabinet program so that you can get all the measurements and such. We have electricians on staff. So really we can go from start to finish in any of the locations. We also have a countertop business that's owned by the same group, Elite Stone. So again, we have the opportunity to sell the countertops and such as well. Where is Elite Stone located? They're in Lisbon. So that's where our main office is in Lisbon. And then they have an actual selection center where customers can go out and view slabs that are inside. A lot of slab viewing is done outside, but we have built a showroom for them to come inside and look at the slabs and remnants. So if you just want a small piece, you can have a leftover piece and we actually cut them right there for them. Thinking about the overall design, obviously you folks aren't limited to just kitchen and bathroom. You pretty much throughout an entire space can do and work on some of the different design needs that are in there. What are some of those things? I've done like built-ins, we've done offices. Right now we're working on the med spa, which is going up in North Liberty. I'm sure you're familiar with that. So we're doing all the cabinets, the countertops, the lighting in there. You know, whatever the customer needs, we try and help them out. With our experience, there's nothing we really can't do. If we have to collaborate with other stores, other people, we can get any job done, really. As far as collaboration, because you have such an extensive team, how often do you find yourself collaborating with people outside of KBD specifically to get some of these jobs done? And then who are those people? Like for new construction with the builder, we usually collaborate with their electrician, talk about where things need to go. You know, several electricians in town, Cedar Rapids, Iowa City area work with the builders and then the builders themselves sometimes have a designer or their head person will talk about how they want the cabinet design. But most of it, we've done it so long that they just trust us to do it right. I know that sounds crazy, but they're like, here's the allowance, pick out the lights. And we always try and get them the best bang for their buck, you know, the newest stuff at an economical price because the housing market is pretty competitive right now and stuff has just soared in price. So we try and keep them, you know, in budget with the greatest, newest, latest stuff. You had mentioned lighting being like an art form, which Mm -hmm. I absolutely agree with that. But it's also one of those things that people easily take for granted because it's just there. You're either in a room that's lit up or you're not. And so how crucial is lighting within the overall design and why? And how do you determine what will work best within a space as a designer? And how do you work with clients to help direct them to share in this understanding? Ideally, you would have several layers of light. So You would have some recessed can lighting, some sconces, and then maybe some under cabinet lighting. But with the economics, the way they are, you know, people just don't invest into all the layers. So I always talk with the customer, like, what is this room going to be used for? You know, if it's a kid's room and they're going to study, they need more light than just a fan light because fan lights don't give a lot of light. You know, if it's just a guest room that grandma and grandpa come stay in once a year, you know, put a lamp in there if you need some more light. So I guess the biggest thing is we try and talk to them about what the room is going to be used for. 
And sometimes customers get hung up on the aesthetics of the fixture and not really the light produced. So, you know, you can get in a little bit of a struggle trying to explain to them that you can have this, but it's not going to be enough light. But there are a lot of lights that don't give light. So you have to evaluate, you know, if you like the look of this, we're going to need to add some other lighting options, whether it be a lamp or some recessed can lights or some wall sconces, because some of those pieces of art don't even give much light. What is a memorable experience of an especially unique design that you worked on for a client? Something that really stands out in your mind? I've done so many in my lifetime. I guess is when customers are really letting you take charge and, you know, your recommendations instead of, you know, on the foyer, most people just put one light. Well, if you put more than one light at different levels, it makes it look like a whole different light. So I would say I have some customers that just really trusted me and let me take control of their lighting situation. It turned out amazing. They loved it and it was unique and different. Are there any things that you look at as far as lighting or maybe even just walking around the type of buildings that you go into that you're drawn to that inspire you to those creations? I don't do a lot of commercial, but when I do, I really like to look at how commercial lighting's used, you know, instead of just a drop and trough or probably what you have, I would assume. And there, when they add some aesthetics or some different aspects to it, maybe not even for a light purpose, but, you know, just to make it look different, that really inspires me. Fancy hotels with really big, huge lights are really cool and aspiring. Find your lighting options at illuminatelightingpro.com. Learn more about how your venture will be right at home in North Liberty at northlibertyiowa.org. Help others find the podcast by rating and reviewing it on Apple iTunes or Stitcher. 52317 is proudly produced in ICR Iowa by me, Derek Blackman. See you next time.